didn't do your arm, share your arm, person could do your arm, know that this, this is precious. But you're looking at man there. Man from who? A gay man, I tell you, it's a gay man before. Guys, welcome back to another vlog with your girl Pretty, and this is Pretty Moment. I just want to welcome you into this vlog. I did not really show my face that much, 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 but yeah, these are clips that I, I put together for you guys. And the reason why I'm doing this intro is the part where I bought myself flowers for the first time since December. You guys will not understand what that meant to me like i said on the on the on the on the vlog if you look down there i typed something that there's a story behind me buying myself flowers and being this happy you know um in my previous relationship the person that i dated used to buy me buy me flowers like i think i shared this on tiktok like he used to buy me flowers like almost every day i can't i can't really say every day but at least like twice a week that's like how many times in a month so i would wake up to flowers i would wake up and the breakfast goes with flowers that's how much he knew that i loved flowers and he kept on doing that constant consistently so so when we separated when i see flowers i would remember him like i would see flowers like this and i was just it just it would just spark that memory to say hey you know so Whenever I see flowers, I would want to buy for, them for, for myself, especially when I was in Pretoria. I love flowers. Let me just have them in my room. Let them just be there for five days, die off after. It's okay, but let me just have them. So when I was in Pretoria, before I left SA, I would struggle. Whenever I see flowers, especially red roses, whenever I see them, they would just trigger this thing of, hey man, I was once happy with this person, you know? Um, I used to receive flowers from this person. He like he made it a point that you know he keeps up with that. So I was struggling. I know it sounds crazy. I know somebody will say like it's just flowers, but for me it means um, a different thing altogether compared to how people see flowers. Just like when I was, I was still growing, I used to love teddy bears, guys. I used to be a sucker for teddy bears. And this particular person that bought me these flowers bought me one huge ass teddy bear. I'll never forget that teddy bear. It, I left it in China because it was too big. I couldn't carry it. I left it in China. And the person that I went into a date with on this vlog got me my second teddy bear that was too big in China. And I left it. That one was purple in color. And him, um, the one that he bought was cream white. So I used to love them so much. And it's not like I really out outgrown the whole teddy bear thing. It's just that, you know, becoming a mother, it doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm, I'm playing with a teddy bear, my son, you know. So, yeah, I had to fall in love with something else. And it happened to be flowers. Flowers are not expensive, you guys. Flowers are the most cheapest thing. Like, very cheap. So I, I found myself falling in love with flowers and when this person came into my life like he constantly bought me flowers Like he constantly bought me flowers and you know, so me buying myself flowers I had told myself that my face page my first paycheck. I remember telling my colleague Edwin I said to her my first paycheck the first thing that I want to do is buy flowers I've kept this content for long like I've kept I've kept that clip for a very long time and I said I want to buy myself flowers i just want to know how it feels again you know i just want to know how it feels am i going to be excited and guys like i felt like crying like i felt like crying when i bought those flowers i was just like wow girl you've healed hey you you can buy flowers for yourself in fact i was so excited even my colleague ian who, who happens to be edwin's boyfriend i was with him when i was buying those flowers he was like why are you excited like it's just flowers i was like dog you can't understand like you cannot get it like you will never get it so yeah guys this just basically it about those flowers and yeah it's part of this um clip you just see it's not a long clip but just see where i bought my flowers and when they were dying off i i felt and wished that if i had a bathtub i would just like take all those red uh flowers they were white and cream i mean they were cream and, and red roses i would take them and just throw in in my bath and put my foam bath and soak myself it was gonna be beautiful but the pity i use a shower so edwin said no don't throw them away allow them to dry keep them in your house they're actually good my sister used to keep her flowers and i said okay i'm gonna try that method and i kept them they dried off and i kept them i just watched them die so i think i need a vase i need a vase that's the only thing that i need to 
do i need to just buy a vase so that i can like you know buy more flowers and also i'm trying to make my house feel like a home you know when i came here my house was just like a plain house edwin came here and the other day was like this house is too full and that's me like that's me i whenever i live in a house i want to like my house must just be full like i want it to feel like a home so i'm also trying to achieve that i'm also trying to get my house to look like a home so if you have like flowers there i bought my glasses my one black glasses the other day i'm so you guys will see where i'm drinking wine you know i'm trying to make it feel like home it's it's somehow somehow it's difficult when you're abroad and you know you come home every time and all you do is just enter close the door behind you you get something to eat and you're in bed it always reminds you that this is not your place you don't belong like this is not you know your home so i always want to get that home type of feeling that okay let my room look the way it would look back home you know yeah so that every time i walk in i know i'm into my own space this is my house you know for heaven's sake it's my house for now so yeah guys i've already rambled and talked too much and obviously yeah you will see when i travel to wuhan for my first date just catching up with a friend anyway nothing special we went shopping even though i was so disappointed i couldn't buy what i wanted to buy because um i didn't have sizes you guys zara didn't have my sizes all the clothes were there therefore like slim waist you know so it was so crazy it was so crazy i didn't get the only thing i got to buy was this um fix spray from mac we visited mac and this gent said to me anything you want i'm ready to pay but yeah it's a pity i couldn't buy much i bought this fix spray from mac and um yeah I, I ran out of my own that i was using i also got this palette it has four shades nc40 and nw40 nc42 and nw43 so yeah and what else did i buy oh okay they said if i spend two million vietnam dong they would give me um a gift so what did they give me where is it they gave me uh this for free from mac that came out of my pillow so from mac they gave me this um it's sort of like a shima highlighter from mac that's what they gave me so they gave me this for free they said if you spend two million we give you a gift and it's a shima from mac we went to dior i was like what how can i buy i saw foundation was like uh, 15 million that's half of my salary sorry that's half of my salary i was like never 15 millions for who for what say what's happen kilo happen i said i can't buy that never i can't even if he's willing to buy for me i beg give me the money i know what to use it to do if it's makeup if i show you guys my makeup you'll faint i have so much so the only thing i needed was a fix spray which i ran off and yeah we ended up not doing shopping um i'm planning to go back though and in, of course i was supposed to have traveled with him back to his city in danang but i didn't travel with him because your girl is not feeling well so even today i didn't go to work the other day i came home early from work because i was sick in fact they quickly believe that i have covid i don't have covid you guys but I'm not okay you know with my kids at work they always want to climb on top of me they always want to touch me they always want to teach a teacher teacher and they're just kids they're innocent they don't know anything so i can't push them away and they always cough on my face the other day like this kid coughed i could literally he hear her spit on my lips you know i tried wiping and i was just like yeah it is what it is so it's not easy sometimes with this job because the kids want to touch you sometimes i wear white pants these kids want to hold me very tight and like hang on my leg like they will just be staining me so uh, it's the job that i love doing it's it is what it is i can't i can't really complain but yeah this flu i got it from my kids i'm not fine but hopefully tomorrow i'll be able to go back to work so let me go and edit this part of the video i don't know why i made it this long wow because my plan was just to say hello to you guys and tell you what's happening on this vlog but i've already made the whole fucking 10 minutes intro so yeah guys i love you i hope you guys are well please be safe out there guys i feel like i'm gonna go back into wearing mask because wow good thing and any one so yeah but i'm strong i am strong and i'm healed in jesus name amen bye see you on my next video please to 
please be sure to watch till the end and don't forget to like comment and share and also make sure you are subscribed love you Bye. <laughs> my first oh but this are not these ones are not fresh this ones are not fresh sure fresh are you serious yeah. they look artificial please hold for me oh my god and they are guys they are so nice but this is artificial right yeah this is artificial teacher Ian. so how who's gonna tell us the price now hello Hi. yes want to buy oh my god this is so nice guys they say my flowers are three hundred thousand. I'm, I'm buying them i want please this yeah Hey guys, this is me trying out sushi for the first time here in Vietnam. I saw it just when I went to a grocery shop and was just like, there is no way I'm trying this out. So I hope it tastes good. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out, you guys. And I also want to show you guys my flowers that I bought the other day. They died. Um, they died, you guys, because I don't have a vase. So I just placed them here. I thought I could like put water here, but it didn't work so i need to get a vase next time place them on a verse and you know they would live a bit longer i think it's been three days now or four so i need to let go of them so this is what i can only do with them for now if i had a bathtub i would scoop all of them throw them on the bath and take a nice shower with them but we don't have we use a shower so here i'm sitting on something something Cling, 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 cling to the beaches. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I said, let me show you guys my sushi. The next day. I know, right? I thought you'd buy pork. Pork. You also buy lemon tea. Lemon tea. My sister is like, you are going to pay for me. Now it's time for booze. And that's when I remember to vlog. When it's time for to buy what I can afford and stop looking at what I can't buy. Mm -hmm. My sister, my money can shock them here and buy everything. So you buy six of them at 100 So I need this. My sister, me, I'm buying this one never. 55. I beg, remove that thing first. <laughs> I don't see a cheaper one. Now I. In Elizabeth. Guys, I'm looking for a shower gel, but the price. Abroad is abroading. Abroad is abroading. Once I bat with this one and you disrespect me, I kill you. Because what? Yeah, perfume. It's very nice. That's nice. Mm. Perfume it's shower gel. It's perfume. Wow. Hello. So which one is nice now? We can't perceive it from outside. If we didn't open it. Don't open it. Hold here.
husband remind me of my ex-husband. Ex-husband. Samuel. Oh. You remember him. <laughs> ah, ah. This, oh, I forgot to show this this guy's discovery. See that car. The person put discovery. Okay, let me take the here. No, put it there. Okay, guys, we've been here, and the queen has just chopped her money. Yeah. Be small. We don't shop. We don't shop. Let me open the door. Back home. Eventually. upon our heads that produce the things that we see. If Reverend Sam should come up with his wife, they would tell you striking moments where one thing after the other happened. One thing after the other. I remember one time I went to preach for a particular ministry and they kept me at the prayer seat in MFM. And when I had finished preaching late time the night when everybody had gone to sleep, protocol had gone, nobody to disturb me. I came out and I went to the prayer ground and I lay down there and I cried. I said, God, I thank you for a rich prayer life that you have given me. But there are people who have this as an office. May that grace rest upon my life. Hallelujah. I can tell you story upon story. Some of these people have gone to be with the Lord. And so I have sat for those they impact.
they really want me to buy. Okay, convince this gentleman to buy for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, tell him to buy for me. Gentlemen, it be like say you go buy. Um, this is what. Why? What is this? Like this. Mm. This cream, right? Yeah. It's like a stick. Um, no, cream same stick. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. Give me this. Let me see. They don't dash me off for Mac. Oh. Two million. <laughs> You can't, you know, fit. Ah, they closed the joint to buy for me before we go. Uh, Guys, they gave me from Mac. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. He <laughs> said, run away. <laughs> thank you. Okay, my sleep is here. Thank you, thank you. Didn't do your arm, say your arm, person could do your arm, know that this, this is precious. But you're a man, there. Man from who? A gay man, I tell you, it's a gay man before. You want to say that you're a man there now. You're also old. You're not absolutely about to. You know, the person they brush for you, you say you're a gay man, but you're not saying that you're a man. As long as I break my hands, you're not leaving me alone. Come on, no talk.
Refinery. 